Hey guys, Dean Gearhart here coming at you with a, another mail day video and some pickups from a local card show at the mall that I went to today. So starting off with this 1949 Bowman, Charlie King Kong Keller. Um, now this one does have tape residue on the bottom here as you can see this discoloration, uh, but what I liked about it, it was centered nice and it's, it's fairly sharp. Um, and for the price, I got this for around $20. So I was happy to get that. Uh, I might someday replace it. It might be what you call a filler card. I, I typically don't do that. But in this case, I just kind of wanted to get it marked off the list for now. And if I ever come across one, uh, Later on, maybe I will upgrade it. So, but that's that's what I got there. And then I picked up uh, a 1951. Yeah, I just wanted to double check that 51 Bowman football. Emil Sitko. These are all going to be VG. I got all these off of Greg Morris uh, auction. So, John. Brooklyn. I'm having trouble seeing these tonight. Let me get the uh, cheaters on here. Pricklick. Uh, I don't know how you say that name, but anyways. You got uh, John Green. Looks like for the Eagles. That. And Sherman Howard. Yanks, and Gail Bruce. Now, a couple of these I'd already had because I just kind of jumped on the auctions a little late and uh, just kind of going from memory what I thought I might need. But some of them might actually be an upgrade, so I have to look into that. There's Jerry Newsom for the Steelers. And we got Brad Whitey Euclid. And Vic Sears. Bruce Alford. For the Yanks. And then you can probably see these in the background. These I got picked up today at the local mall show. Well, not local. It was in Ohio. But it's one of the ones I like to get out to. Um, I got this group here, this whole group, uh, for $30. And there's a, I think there's 20 of them here. And there might be a couple doubles, um, which is fine. But I did get a couple Hall of Famers. Uh, the Hank Aaron, which seemed to be pretty clean and centered pretty good. Never owned any of these before, and it was something just kind of be to be put on the back burner to maybe put together this set someday. But the guy had the bag of them for thirty bucks, and I thought, well, that's even if they were, you know, if I could get them all. It, two bucks a piece that seemed like to be a pretty fair price to me especially with the Gibson and the Hank Aaron in there so I thought that was a fair price so now I'm building that set and oh, there's a Jim Bunning too I thought there was another Hall of Famer there so I figured 30 bucks that was a fair price so what the heck and then I got uh, a couple of the Golden Press Cards I need for my set, the Lou Gehrig and the Joe DiMaggio. These seem to be pretty nice. Um, he had other ones I needed too, but I wasn't trying to spend an arm and a leg. I kind of paid up on these because they were in nice shape. So, um, And then I got 
couple 1969 football. I didn't have my glasses with me either, and I should have had them with me. I'm just kind of buying a couple things on the fly here. Um, but I try to get these mint to near mint, and I mean, these will be good enough. Got Pete Case and Norm Sneed. So, backs aren't too, too bad. So, and then I rescued these out of a $5 box. Uh, these were five a piece. Just that one's off center. Had a pretty nice clean back. Great pull. A little bit of snowing. Nothing crazy. I don't look for super great, you know, mint condition on these. Little ink up here, the X. A little bit of creasing here. And I love this set. I, I didn't notice the paper loss here, but that's okay. I'm not looking to build this set in high grade either, so... Um, but anytime I can grab the, you know, 50s, 40s and 50s cards um, for five bucks a piece that are in, in decent shape like these, then, then I'll buy them. I mean, why not? So that's that. Uh, the only other thing I picked up, which isn't uh, too exciting, just uh, the, uh, the short prints out of the... Uh, the base set for the 21 heritage and i paid less than two bucks a piece for those and then uh got some basketball cards i needed for a couple different uh hoops sets uh, these are only a quarter each and i just got this to make it an even two dollars i don't even know if i need that card but um but i collect it all so you know this is all part of it too um, and I'm almost done with this heritage set. I just got to mark these off and see where I'm at. So that's all I got for now, guys. Uh, and I will be working on getting up that uh, a set. Just trying to figure out which set I want to showcase. Um, but I'll work on that and I get that out as soon as possible. Thanks for watching, guys.